Hey, my treasures, it's time for another Rattle Gore event task guide. The task in question for this is going to be task 5, which is to complete the heroic Silas Darkmoon bounty with using at least four beasts. To do this, I used a modified version of Bane Gore, where we are going to be using Bane, Trigor, and Nizal in the starting up lineup. Then I had on the bench King Crush, Blink Fox, and Cookie. You don't really need King Crush or Blink Fox, you just need two additional beast mercenaries and cookie can be replaced by another beast mercenary if you just want to be a little bit extra safe for this we are going to be using a bane with totemic mastery as his equipment mainly using his first ability to trigger trigor's backlash though if you need any type of healing chain heal is really nice trigor we are going to be using razor claw with backlash as the only real ability we ever use on him nizal we are going to be using helm of nizal using Headbutt as the main ability on him, using Bullish Fortitude to sometimes protect our mercenaries for an additional turn, or even Blessing of the Ox. Then King Crush, we have Flame Talons as his equipment, but it doesn't matter too much, and then Blink Fox is just another beast body. And finally, Appetizers on Cookie, but it isn't absolutely necessary. So let's look at how I did this boss. Okay, so we are going to be putting down Bane, Trigor, and Nizal here. I did do this multiple times to make sure that it was actually possible to do it by just using these three mercenaries. There are going to be some attempts where you're going to actually have to bring in some of the other beast mercenaries just because of the fact that the main boss swaps the order of your mercenaries around which can screw with Trigor's ability to actually hit. And we are going to be mainly focusing down the main boss body here. You can actually even attack with the totem if you really feel like it. Just to get a little bit extra damage into the main boss. Don't worry if one of your mercenaries die, you should still be able to get this task done. And this was what I meant by it sometimes screwing you over with the damage that you can actually get out on Trigor. But we are going to heal up a little bit. Just do that to be a little bit extra safe. And now we're just going to put down King Crush. Doesn't really matter who we put down. And swap the order of Bane and Trigor. Finish off the boss. All right, I hope this task video was helpful for you, and if it was, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and until the next one, bye-bye.